Welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil with my co-host Sam. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. What do we got today, Sam? We have Purple Rain Live. Prince and the Revolution doing Purple Rain Live in 1985 before either of us were born. Yes. <laughs> we're traveling back in time and this is why are we doing this one? This is a request from Jennifer. Jennifer's first request. Yeah. Thank you so much for supporting us, Jennifer. And uh, she uh, is a Prince fan and we had done Purple Rain. That was our yep. first uh, Prince song that yeah, we had gotten into. Channel. And she said, you know what, guys? It's time for you guys, for you to check out Purple Rain live. Yeah. And that's how we've arrived at this one. So thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much, everybody, for supporting the channel. We wouldn't be where we are today without all of you. Subscriptions, like, com likes, and comments yep, have been true. super helpful getting us to where we have gotten to thus far. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. But without further ado, we got a 16 and a half minute performance 16. from Prince. We did that last live performance and he brought all the energy. Oh yeah, he in, crushed that. In America. So uh, I have no doubt we're gonna see something similar in this one. You ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Let's roll guys. Quite the outfit that we got here. I think we got an extended intro. Yeah, setting the vibes and the tone. I think I hear some audience members doing some backup vocals. <laughs> like a good time for crowd swaying. He literally looks like a prince. <laughs> Have a little dance party before we get in, get off the instrumental break.
there's a lot of teasing going on here. So they're clearly set in the mood. With yeah, this one. we've got some interesting outfits too, like a sparkly cloak and like a fur thing with a jewel. Yeah. So they look like they're ready to go into uh, medieval times. That'll be my next Halloween costume. <laughs> I'll be a prince dressed as a prince. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your thoughts on the, the intro? We won't you know talk about it too long because obviously we haven't gotten meat and potatoes yet, but... Yeah, I mean, I think they're just kind of, like you said, setting the scene a little bit, the tone, warming the audience up a bit for the song to come, right? A nice little instrumental kind of bridge lead into the song. It's also, like, very calming, I find. Yeah, I mean, it's clearly set in the tone. The audience is getting engaged, and um, I noticed, you know, the, the guitar sounds really, really dry. You know, it's it's they set the tone, I feel like, with the bass, and mm -hmm. obviously there was some other guitar work in there, but I feel like obviously now the electric guitar that Prince is playing is much yeah. more prominent, but it's got a really, really dry sound, uh, but alongside this steady rhythm that they've been setting in the introduction phase yeah. with, you know, bass line, steady drum rhythm, you know, lots of pop to the snare, and uh, so it's like, you know, got this vibe to it, but we, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's an intro, but it's still got enough energy to it that you kind of just want to, like you were saying, sway back yeah, and forth. Yeah, to me, it's like a calm, melodic flow that you just want to kind of like sway to. Yeah. Which obviously for such a renowned song, everybody's like, yeah, let's just... <laughs> let's get it going. Well, no, at the same time, I think it's like you wouldn't want the sound, song to be over too quick. Yeah, like you're so true. excited for Purple Rain. Yeah. And so you're like, yeah, let's do this extended intro and I can just vibe with whoever I'm there with in the concert. And, yeah, you know, being feel in, good vibe. In that live atmosphere is for sure. very appreciated, right?
kind of friend Yeah, yeah Baby, baby I can never steal you from another opportunity to pause it now before we get into solo work from mm-hmm. Prince. Um, what are your thoughts so far, Sam? I think his vocal sounds really great on this. Vocal I, dexterity is definitely yeah, there. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, initially the first time we heard this, the studio version slash I think it was from the movie, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like we felt like we weren't really getting the full Prince experience because it was, you know, like a little bit of a slower, more melodic song. And I mean, he sounded good, like from a standpoint of being crisp and clear, but to me, he's just bringing more like energy and passion to the song in this performance than he did when we listened to it the first time. Yeah. I mean, that said, the clarity though is great in this performance, Mm -hmm. right? I mean, there's not a lot of drop off from the studio in terms of the the positives that were there Mm -hmm. and and what we discussed that we did like there's nothing that's really dropping off from the live performance no it's just an addition i feel like on top of that yeah and and what i just wanted to highlight is that clarity sounds great in this performance the instrumental work sounds very vibrant his vocal dexterity that we talked about is through the roof obviously right Mm -hmm. he's hitting you with these high register notes and you know he just seems like he's bringing that creativity and that flair on a whim It, it seems like he's just enjoying it and he's going out there and doing the performance as he feels like he wants to yeah it doesn't seem like, like it's, bringing his personality to it i feel like yeah it doesn't seem like it's rehearsed in yeah. any way right it's just like you said seems like this is his personality yeah. on stage <laughs> and um you know he's got the audience in, engaged mm-hmm. involved you know getting them to be a part of it which creates a great energy between yeah. the artists and the audience yeah. and, and even like all the backup singers and stuff like the people that are doing the, the background vocals yeah. sound good yeah for sure all right let's see what he's going to do with the guitar that he's got here you know what you're saying about raise your hand Sheesh. 
try that. was Prince and the Revolution, Purple Rain, and I think that was probably, what, seven minutes of a guitar solo there? Yeah, I was going to say, definitely super extended version. Yep, and <laughs> uh, it was probably, if not the most, one of the most melodic guitar solos that I've heard. Um, you know, it was much different kind of solo. I mean, it wasn't just like getting on a, a track and bringing a whole lot of energy obviously there was that there to it but it was like he was doing the entire song redoing the entire song in a solo yeah yeah i felt like the electric guitar definitely brought a lot of energy like the most energy to the song mm -hmm. yeah and i feel like there i don't know like maybe it's just been a while since we listened to the original studio version but i feel like he had a lot more kind of background instrumentation and like background music in this like i feel like the sound made it sound very full with like the people with the tambourines and all the different instrumentation and the backup vocals that he had on stage yeah. i feel like to me it just sounded like a more like full sound in mm -hmm. this 
Yeah, clearly, you know, for me, the standout obviously was the solo work, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the you know most I've heard Prince playing the guitar ever, and yeah, obviously very very awesome impressive, job. and so unique as a, as I said before in terms of the style that he was playing. Um, that is complemented with the vocal de dexterity that mm -hmm. we already talked about, the backing instrumental work is not to be yeah. overlooked of course but that was you know all prince in my opinion it was you know the the star of the show was prince without a doubt you know walking yeah, all sure. over the stage the spotlight is well, yeah on him and he and, had all the energy to punch the microphone down <laughs> yeah and then um you know bringing that passion from the guitar to the vocal to the engagement with the audience yeah all around i can see why this is such a renowned performance because yeah um playing that long on a solo, keeping people engaged that long is hard enough. And then to make it sound so fantastic and so, like I said before, melodically flow, so it feels like an entire song in itself, all those things are super, super impressive. Yeah, and I'm sure like at the time, right, because we had read briefly before starting this that this was on the Purple Rain tour, right? So this mm -hmm. had just come out recently. So people were probably just like loving this, right? Mm -hmm. Which is cool. Yeah, so... Um, that was 16 minutes of basically all prints. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking that out with us and uh, definitely prefer this version of Purple Rain versus so the first one. And this yeah. seems like Sam was saying earlier, the full experience for Prince. Yeah. And uh, so thanks for that suggestion and that paid request. Yeah. Jennifer, we appreciate you supporting the channel. Hopefully you guys can support us by hitting that like button and leaving us a comment down below. Uh, if you want to subscribe and join us on this journey that we've been on, we'd love to have you. Come join two, us. Two videos coming back tomorrow so hopefully we see you then thanks for watching guys see you in the next one